All right, welcome back. In this video is going to be considering how data are stored in memory. So we're we'll looking at various ways of data storage. All right, it's important for us to note that the computer system stores data as sequence of bits, what we call binary digits. So the word bits, that means binary digits. Bits. Uh, these bits or this sequence of bits are being classified in various groups. Now, bits in group of four gives us one label. So, one label is equal to four to four bits. Likewise, this bits in group of eight is one byte. So, one byte for eight bits. Likewise, this continues. We also have one kilobyte. One kilobyte will give us ten thousand two four bytes. So we have one megabyte to give us ten thousand. Four kilobytes. We also have one gigabyte to give us ten thousand two four megabytes. Likewise, this is how it continues to gigabytes to petabytes and um, all the rest. So we also move to gigabytes. If that is the case, then it's important for us to look at ways, look at ways we can use to convert this unit from one unit to another. So we next we're going to look at how to convert from one unit. For example, we are converting from bit to kilobyte, or we are converting from gigabyte to megabyte. All right. So let's go. So let's take let's move let me extend the body a bit so we're changing up to change change from one unit to another this conversion from one unit to another It's important for us to note certain points. <clears throat> Point number one, to convert from a smaller unit to a larger unit, we divide. And for us to convert from a larger to a smaller, we multiply. Let me just give you a table, a table that can guide us in our decision making. Let's start from this. From this, we get to byte. After byte, we have kilobyte. After that, we have megabyte. After that, we have gigabyte. After that, we have terabyte. And so on. So, if you remember, we said bit in group of eight is give you one byte. We also said 1024 bytes to give us one kilobyte. We we'll also say 1024 kilobytes will give us one megabyte. And that likewise is say. Likewise is say. So good. So if you are moving from a lower, like bits to kilobytes, what we do, we divide. We divide that bit by the numbers on top. For example, I'm moving from bits to kilobytes. Whatever value I have in bit, I want to convert to kilobytes. First of all, I will move it to bytes by, by dividing by eight. So whatever I have as an answer, I will, I will divide it again by ten twenty four to get my final value. And if that is the case, we we'll also move again. If we are moving from gigabyte to kilobytes, that is one of the we will multiply. So if I'm moving from gigabyte to kilobyte, I'm going to multiply. For example, first of all, I'm going to take from gigabyte to megabyte. 
the megabytes into the file. The question is, what am I multiplying with? As even I'm having five gigs to, to convert to kilobytes, first of all, I'll divide it by 1024 to get megabytes. Then I'll further divide it by 1024 to get my kilobytes. So let's go. Example one. Please just bear in mind the table you have. If you have this table before you, you're able to answer any questions you have. Now convert example one. Convert five MB. Five MB to bytes. So we are converting 5 MB to byte. The first thing I want you to note right here is we are moving from to have MB, we have MB, that's megabyte and gigabyte. We're going to ask yourself between these two, which of them is higher? We're going to ask between the two, which one is higher? So you can see between um, megabytes and bytes. So it's obvious that megabyte is higher than that. So we said earlier, if we are moving from higher to lower, what we do, we multiply. So let's move. So the what we multiply by is what we want to know now. So the first thing we're going to do is that we're going to, we're going to convert the MB to kilobytes. Then after we should convert the kilobytes to bytes. Then, now we are giving 5 MB. So 5 MB, we say we are multiplying, we're going to multiply 5 MB by a certain value. So MB to kilobytes is 1024. So multiply by 1024. That will give you what? 5, if we, can, if we multiply this value, we will have a, just a quick one, pick up my calculator. Okay, 10 to 4 multiplied by 5 will give us 10 to 4 multiplied by 5 will give us 5120. 5120 kilobytes. So next is to move the kilobytes to byte. So again, and kilobyte to byte is also 10 to 4. So now say 5120 times 10 to 4. So, so whatever we get times 10 to 4. So that will give us, I'm having 5, I'm having 5, 2, 4, 2, Eight eight zero five two four two eight eight zero bytes. So that's for that. That's the answer you're gonna get. So always remember to put your unit. So we are converted from MB to byte. So we said first you're gonna remember again MB to byte. That is from higher. We are moving from a higher to a lower. If you are doing that, remember this is our diagram. So we are multiplying. So now what to multiply by is what we don't know. Are we multiplying by 8? Because I think 2, 4. So since we are moving from MB to kilobyte, it's 1024. So we multiply by 1024. Whatever we get, we now move again from kilobyte to byte. So kilobyte to byte, we still multiply by 1024. So your final answer is 522880. That's for that. Let's see another example that will, that will allow us to move from lower to higher. So let's go. Example two. So example two we have before us is convert. We want to convert example two. So let's look at this example two. Example two to convert from from three. Okay, let me say we are converting twenty five one six five 
824 bits. So MB to megabyte. The first one we just did was megabyte to byte. Now we are moving from bit to megabyte. So we're going to first of all compare bit and MB. Which one is bigger? Of course, MB. That means we are moving from lower to higher. We're moving from lower to higher. Lower, lower units to higher. What do we do? We divide. So we divide. So now, what we are dividing by is what we don't know. So first and foremost, we're going to move from bits, bits to bytes, from bytes to kilobyte, then from kilobyte to megabyte. If you recall, bits to byte is 8 bits, then byte to kilobyte is 1024, then kilobyte to MB is 1024. That simply means that for us to convert from bits, which is the original value, to bytes, we will divide by 8 first. So it's going to be 25, going to be 25, going to be 25, 25, 1, 6, 5, 8, 2, 4, Divide by 8, also divide it by 1024, also divide it by 1024 again. So when you convert that value, we'll have 3. Don't forget the unit, MB. So have 3 MB as your answer. So thank you for that. In our subsequent video, we'll see how to solve the next answer. Thank you.